On this video, we will give you an overview to Visual Composer plugin. So we show how to create a static homepage using Visual Composer in other video, and now we will explore it. Now let's try to create another page. For example, let's say it's testing. For example, then I will choose. Don't forget to choose Visual Composer plus no title template if you want to use it for create custom home page. I will click back end editor and then I will click templates default templates so basically you will see we provide you three default templates marketika home plan and pricing and team members so let's say for example now I will choose marketika home I will click click it once then after that close it and now you already see some visual composer elements here I will click publish okay you can edit you can edit any elements every elements here using the back end editor or you can also activate the front end editor for example I will click front end editor please wait and now you will see the front end editor so basically you can remove or change all elements with live preview for example on most cases I do not need this plan and pricing okay so I will remove it so for example I will remove this one okay I will remove this one also I will remove this one also I will remove this one also okay so we, this is the so I will remove this okay so I will remove this empty row here okay so now I do not have a plan of pricing here so for example if you want to change the new item you simply hover it and then click this one so for example I want to show let's say only 20 with uh, 10 columns 10 products per row then I will click save change and it will automatically update it so for example on this case you will see that okay this have a background then I would need to change the, the background click row and then this and then I will click edit this row click design option okay so for example for the background oops you can change the background here for example yellow okay it looks like I do it in the wrong place so for example on this case it could be the background is not on the row setting but on the column setting so I will click column here and then I will click this pencil button I will go to the design option and I see okay so it is here now guys I will remove this background for example I will click save change so now it will have a yellow background from the row settings but let's say I would like to have a black okay so you will have it now or you want to choose a background image for example you can click this one okay for example just for an example I will click save change so right now it will show the background image so for example yeah okay another example is for example okay WooCommerce product you can click it and then you can change let's say the icon 